Hi, my name is Patrick, and this is Prep Mindful, your daily video practice in mindful test prep. And if function transformations make you want to crap your pants, well then snap on a diapy and stay tuned, because I'm coming at you today with an ACT math question. This was question 46 from ACT 72E. Right there, you can pause it, pause the video, take a crack out of yourself, and then unpause and watch the explanation. See how you did. Could be good. Because we're getting in there. It reads, given g of x equals x plus 1 over x squared, which of the following expressions is equal to g of x minus 1 for all x in its domain? Ugh. All right. Well, I see variables in all the answer choices. So perhaps I could plug in a number. How about 2? I like that number. So then we would have g of 2 minus 1, which would be the same as g of 1. We go back to the original function they gave us, and we put 1 in wherever it said x. So that would give us 1 plus 1 over 1 squared, or 2 over 1. So apparently in the function g of x minus 1, when x is 2, the output is also 2. Okay, so let's put in 2 for x into all of the answer choices and cross off the ones that don't give us 2. All right, we'll start with f. 2 over 2 squared, 4, minus 2 times 2, 4. So 4 minus 4, plus 1, which would give us 2 over 1, which is 2. Hmm, almost too easy. All right, we'll keep it around. We look at g. 2 over 2 squared minus 1. 2 squared minus 1 is 3, so that's 2 over 3 which is not the same as 2. Goodbye, G. H gives us 2 over 2 times 2 minus 2, so 2 over 2, which is 1, which is not 2. Goodbye, H. J gives us 2 plus 1, 3 over 2 minus 1, 1. 3 over 1 is 3, still not 2. Goodbye, J. And K, negative x squared, so that's negative 4 plus 2, so now we're at negative 2 plus 1, negative 1 over 2 squared, so negative 1 over 4. Ugh, not at all. So the answer was F. Lucky us. Helpful to keep in mind for function questions, that a function is a simple set of instructions. When this is what's in the parentheses, here's what you do to it. In this case, our original was x plus 1 over x squared, so even though they dressed it up a little bit and made it look like x minus 1, we chose our own value for x, figured out what the overall input would be, functionified it, and then got the output, and then went through and checked all the answer choices. Not too bad. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, why not subscribe to our channel? And if you have any questions about functions or any other kind of problem, feel free to hit me up in the comments below, or you can email me at prepmindful at gmail.com. In the meantime, my name is Patrick, and this has been Prep Mindful. I lied. This was question 46 from test 74H, not 72E. I fear that the trust is gone. Sorry about it.